This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. How you doing this morning? Make sure you can hear me there. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is seven minutes in the morning, a few minutes late. Sorry. Things happen. <laughs> so uh, thank you for being here. I do appreciate it. Good morning to Keith. Good morning to Joe. Do what they have done when you arrive, if you will, please. Leave your name. And uh, where are you watching from? That's the other thing I'm I'm interested in hearing. Catherine, good morning. <coughs> Long time no talk to. Um, name and where you're watching from, if you don't mind. All right, so I want to make it quick, so I can try and get all this in before Catherine has to go. Um, working on another quote today. I'm on a quotes kick right now, and um, this one's going to come up in Instagram. So you guys are getting a uh, an early sneak peek and what's coming up later today. In fact, in well, by the time we're done here, it'll be up on Instagram. It's a quote from Andrew Carnegie, um, one of the um, men who built America, if you watch that show. No person will make a great business who wants to do it all himself or get all of the credit. So, so many rich opportunities to talk about this uh, or to explore with this. But the, here's the one that... that I want you to think about today. Why are you pursuing a business? Right? When when I have an opportunity to sit down with someone, talk about their business for the first time, that's usually the second question that I ask is, well, Tim, you know, why did you start this business? Why did you start this business? And why did you start it now? Right? Or Or when you did. What's the motivation? So what I want to do is kind of find out on what's driving them because i mean look honestly most people when they sit down and talk with me they're experiencing some difficulty with the business it's not not living up not meeting their expectations and so we have to start working through some of those difficulties and if i can understand what motivated them to start the business in the beginning then i can uh, try to understand where they're taking the business here's the funny part they can't tell me most of the time. Yes, yes, yes. I get the standard answers. Oh, to make money, to um, quit my job, be my own boss, all that fluff. But none of that's true. I mean, look, the reality, I mean, you got to have money, right? So whether you're working a job or own your own business, you're doing it to make money. So, okay, that's not it. To be your own boss... Most of that is rooted about, I think the number is 73, 72, 73% of people that quit a job quit because of their boss. Everybody hates their boss. Statistically speaking, everybody hates their boss. So, so that's not it. So now what's the real reason? We dig around in that a little bit and we come to find out that there's usually some kind of self-affirming emotion that they're seeking there. Right, because I'm smarter than I, I'm smarter than my company. The company is dumb. They're they're doing this the wrong way. I can do it better than them. I can make a living while I'm doing it. So that's why I started the business. Okay, now we have something to work with. Now you're being truthful and honest with yourself, and now we've got somewhere to go. All right. Now that that is out of the way. Now let's start looking at that from, from the perspective of, is and, and it's out on the table, is that the right way, is that the healthy motive to have out in front of you to help you make decisions for the business? You've heard me say, if you listen to more than one or two episodes, you've heard me say probably a dozen times, that once we understand the outcome we are trying to create and where we are going, we use it as a filter for our decision making. Does this you get a question, you get an option. Does this choice move me closer to where I want to go 
or further away from where I want to go. It's that simple. And then you keep making decisions that, that move you in that direction. And I usually wag my hands back and forth because you will. I mean, it's not a straight line. You're going to wag a little bit, but at least you're not going o- over here in the wrong direction. Okay. If you don't know, if you won't acknowledge what that is, then then you're just going to be all over the place with no direction, no focus, and no results. All right? No person will make a great business who wants to do it all for himself or get all the credit. The second, I mean, as I said, so many things we could explore here. I'm just going to seed this little mental hand grenade for you. It'll go off in your head later today. Don't want to do this? Yeah, I'll do this. One of the things I really like about Alabama's current football coach is something that the last great Alabama football coach did, Bear Bryant. Bear Bryant, when I was growing up, Bear Bryant was the coach. And he had this uh, Sunday afternoon uh, TV show where he would talk about the game. And... Every week, one of the things that I learned by watching him was every week, if they won the game, then he would give credit to the boys. The boys played a good game. They, they, did, they did their work. They played hard, and we, we were able to win. If they were not victorious, he would say he would take credit for it. I did a bad job getting the team ready. It's my fault. All right? Current coach does the same thing. Yes, season the season's over, but the analogy persists. It's just so good. Okay, I'll use baseball if you want to. Joe Torre did the same thing. Saban's the same way. If the team wins, then the team did a great job. If they lose, then I didn't do a good job getting them ready for it. Right? It's not that's not about you know, being successful, having a successful business, not about taking credit for the victories or, or the losses for that matter, right? It's about creating a winning environment. I mean, think like we just stated this or, or, or quoted this stat a minute ago, 70 some percent of employees quit their job because of their boss. If you work your fanny off and you, I mean, this is a, a meme out of a, what was the movie? Office, office space. <laughs> Decades ago now, you know, you work your fanny off, you improve the the financial outcome of the company, and the boss gets all the credit for it. Right? So how does that make you feel? How do you think it makes your team members feel? Give them all the credit. It's cheap. It's inexpensive. It costs you nada to do that, but it will gain you everything. All right, that's it for today. I'm going to wrap it up. You guys have a terrific Tuesday. Uh, not Tuesday, Wednesday. Coffee shop. We'll, we, we will definitely be at the coffee shop. I will definitely be late getting to the coffee shop, but I'll be there. And uh, we'll see if we're going to have a show today, see how Eric's doing. He's been a little under the weather here the last couple of weeks. We'll see how that goes. You can join us. Uh, just look out here. It'll show up here. And uh, otherwise, I'll show up here again in the morning. Hey, by the way, if you don't already, if you happen to be an Instagram user, you're not following me, head over there and check that out. It's easy to find me. Just look for my name, Tom Rigsby. And uh, check out some of the stuff I'm posting there. See if you like it. I would appreciate a follow. If any of it really resonates with you, go ahead and drop a comment over there and let me know. All right, that's it. Wrapping it up. You guys have a great Wednesday. Talk to you tomorrow.